having one activity with the existing activist community and then having other activities with community events and things that are going on. Right, so I'd like to combine the 5th and the 8th, just the 8th. Like Fort Hernandez just wants to do a march on the 9th, so I think it might be a nice build of momentum and a show of solidarity. And that, and just to acknowledge that Fort doesn't have the same privileges that we're seeing within this community, which is like an active community. Um, so I think if we could just do SDD, shut down Deutsch on the 8th, and focus on actually attending existing events and existing within this community in the meantime, that we'll actually do more for this, for our cause here and elsewhere as well. There's a proposal that we, um, that we focus the, what we're saying for the Okay, so is there anything else for uh, community organizing or outreach? Yeah. I have a proposal that maybe at the um, sandbox of various parks within the community, mm -hmm. we could create sort of like mantles of like, like, you know, how many foreclosures are going on, how many families will be affected, because that's where a lot of mothers go, and I think it'd be a good way just to maybe build something in the morning on days where we know a lot of people are going to show up just build something very colorful with candles almost as if it was almost like somebody had died you know what I mean? but yeah an altar with the yeah exactly especially because we run day of the dead too mm -hmm. oh shit the death that's of the American an dream. awesome action for the community for us and do like more than one park like where yeah, are all, all the, the parks. parks even you know you could do it on various uh, corners significant corners where there was a community center or some other some other kinds of things where there's a significant attraction of people on certain days creating those like as if someone died you know. okay I um, have a friend in the to that, um, for the altars. I more or less want to um, invite someone to actually make the altar. Because it would be an insult to do a mock altar. I think so. Mm -hmm. Is it an insult? I think it would, honestly. It's, it would be like desecration. Well, it would be like we're trying to like... Power trip. No, like more or less appeal to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Frankie? Doesn't necessarily have to be an altar. We can do something else. We could put or build something different, not necessarily an altar. We can make little houses. <laughs> it might be red trip, like little cardboard houses. Those are like super. We don't need to ask mm -hmm. anyone for supplies. <laughs> Kids are going to be like, this is cool. Parents are going to be like, what is this? <laughs> so. Yeah. Little cardboard homages to the foreclosure part, fraudulent foreclosure prices. Um, yeah, completely off topic from what y'all are talking about. I would like to um, propose that we attempt to get canteens and completely step away from plastic bottles. Um, there's no need for us to have a retarded amount of plastic like to recycle it so us just to buy another case of like plastic bottles like it's so wasteful and part of it is me being lazy and not wanting to pick that crap up <laughs> you know what I mean it would be so much easier if everyone just had their own canteen and then just you know like you know get the the five gallon thing of water or the pitcher of water filter that we have like that would totally be easier I make an amendment, and just since we're going to talk about supplies, which is what we're going to send out and ask from the community, right? Can we add towels to that? <laughs> no, yeah, but I'm talking, like, honestly, like, we should stick to our, like, rules. The second one is earth first. So canteens and towels, we do need Make sure they aren't aluminum canteens. Yeah. Canteens and towels. Did, you, did you put the towels in your car? Uh, also, yeah, yeah. if we can get some non-aluminum utensils here, like ladles, we had an incident. Yesterday, there? I actually yeah. placed the ladle in some of the, in the soup that was made, a really large stock. Mom explained to me that ladle more than 10 minutes in that stock destroys the stock. 
because it's aluminum and it had like white foam on it mm -hmm. and I, I mean to me it's like a scary prospect that that's even how some people like some of the supplies that are being sold to people something that literally destroys food within 10 having a 10 minute presence within fluids and like what that does even on the microcosm of like each scoop so like if we could do a call out for i uh, what it, i'm not, wooden, not flatware wooden, wooden like yeah. whatever like we need ladles that That's are right. safe for consumption um within this group because I, I i i like, like <laughs> so so I think then that's um, three things that we want to um, put a call out and ask for donations on. It's uh, non-aluminum canteens, <coughs> towels, and non-aluminum utensils. <laughs> Everybody's down with that? Yeah? Yay! Woo! Stuff. Um, and then... Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then um, <coughs> having... Um, Having some kind of uh, materials to promote awareness about foreclosures in uh, public spaces, houses or lists or whatever. Everybody's down with that? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then um, <coughs> let's see. Close stacks. Anybody else want to talk about outreach? No. Okay. Then um, there's next is uh, questions for the litigation lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. Let me jump on stack on this one. Um, so um, this is I think this is a quick item. Just basically uh, any questions that you guys have, uh, uh, let's centralize them. Send them to me. Uh, he, uh, Victor said, uh, yeah, let's just be efficient about it. Let's not have a tons of emails coming my way. Put everything in one, and then I'll answer everything. So uh, maybe tonight, uh, send me any any questions that you have, either on Facebook or on my email, or right now, give me questions, and then we'll get those answered. Okay. Any questions for letter education or send to blood? Okay. Is anybody else? Oh, and then um, under that, um, I think is a contact list. Um, Malia, you were mentioning somebody. So, how do we go about creating a contact list, or where do we keep it, or... Google Documents. Mm -hmm. Google Docs. Okay, Google Docs. We have, we have a, well, I mean, if it's a contact list for phone numbers, no, but if it's one for email addresses, okay. it'd be more convenient to have a type of email address. And it should be on the, on the Fort Lucero Gmail account, so that, you know, everyone has access to it, or whatever. So who wants to play it? Does anyone want to take on compiling all the contacts we've gotten via positions, via the clipboard out front, via business cards, and, and begin creating that list? Nikki, Allison, Matt, and Nikki, hold on, can you hear your names? Nikki, Allison, Matt, and Delessi. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> okay, um, anything else on questions for litigation lawyer or contact list? Close tag and move on. The next one is uh, filing complaints. Uh, we have a list on the other side of this wall of agencies that uh, need to be uh, received uh, a complaint from us regarding Fort Lucero and what is happening. Um, it's important, not so much because we expect the agencies to stop everything they're doing and solve our problems, but uh, this is uh, uh, a valuable tool in, uh, in pressuring the bank. When we uh, CC all these other agencies and have a complaint number on there and say, look, such and such uh, agency has, been, has this uh, complaint number on file, um, and uh, it needs to be done. So I think one, the Lacey has already done, but we, we need to really knock out the other ones. Um, can you mute it real fast?
and seeing whether it's electronic or whether it requires a letter and spell it out. Does anyone? Yeah, I think the the um, complaint forms aren't that like difficult to fill out compared to like some of this other paperwork that's really mind boggling. Um, so if anybody at any time has any like free time and is interested in that, it's just all about just going on Google looking up whatever whatever is on the wall there, which are one of those agencies, and just doing it yourself if you want to. Um, in regards to filing the complaint, it's important to be clear on the narrative, and with, with Benji and Frankie and everybody, we've put together sort of the whole narrative of what happened here. Um, so I'll get that up on a Google Doc so everybody can read it. Yeah. Okay. Um, if there's not anything else on that, we can close next. I think we're almost done. The only two things we have left on, left on here are uh, November 3rd and then Smashing Patriarchy. So for November 3rd, I don't know. What's up with November 3rd? Actually, it's a series of events. It's well, I'm sorry. There's November, November 3rd, 5th, and 8th, but then we're seeing um, collapsing the 5th into the 8th. So for November 3rd, so we're missing so everything, not just November 3rd. Okay. Should we not, should we mute this I part, think, or? No, I yeah. think that, that that was a mix-up, that someone thought there still might be something going on on that date. Mm -hmm. Unless I'm wrong, because I'm We're gonna have we're gonna have the discussion group at two today. Is there anything that we need to say beforehand or uh, for the smash and feature you see? Mm -hmm. There's a men's circle that meets at two o'clock in, in downtown and mm -hmm. have this apartment. Some of the older guys. Yeah, it's usually for a job. Yeah. So <coughs> I don't know if this says what the plan of going there. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I love that. I love the, the, the men's circle. Um, but I felt like, uh, for, for me personally, I think it's like, it's, I, I'd much rather to have a conversation with you guys. Um, because going there, it's like, <coughs> kind of like going to somewhere where everybody's already on the same page with everything. And um, I think it's like more productive for us to be having this discussion amongst ourselves, you know? Thank you. 
place. Fried rice, Carol, Jessica, and such and such. And Eddie Betts. And everybody. <laughs> Uh, we'll stack our special picture up here and get the chores. Okay, so what's up with chores? So, I feel like we need to really define kind of what chores entails because like, I've been a little frustrated and a little upset and mm -hmm. feeling like a little bit stretched thin.
Yeah, that's everybody with food scraps. Alright, well, I'm sick, so I'll take all those. <laughs> bathroom. I'll do the bathrooms. Driveway. I'll do the driveway. Wait, that's the reception. No, it's that's from the front yard. To the garage. <laughs> media area. I'll do that. You want media area? No, I'll do the driveway. Who wants the media area? I'll do the media area. Laundry. I can do laundry. Recycling. Recycling. Yeah. Who said yeah? All right, we're done. Okay. Okay. If anybody has laundry, please put it in the hand. Solidarity <laughs> clap. Oh goodness, really? <laughs> is this anyone doing outreach today or is sunday not a good day or is sunday a good day for outreach i should have brought that up earlier um Good morning, Rise. How's it going? I'm tired. I'm going to go home. What's happening? Speed cleaning. How oh, we can get the whole thing on there, huh? There we go. Oh, you can't see it. No, I'll do it. I don't have a problem. I'll do it. I want to do it. Hey, now. Ready? 